Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Physics 20 Vectors Lesson 2, Adding Non-Right Angle Vectors, Part 1. Up until now, we've only looked at adding vectors using the trig that were, that were perpendicular or parallel to each other, but what about non-right angle vectors? Sorry, non-right angle vectors, also called non-collinear vectors. We can add vectors such as this in one of two ways. First method, method one, is a protractor and a ruler. So let's find the resultant in 15 meters east and 8 meters 60 degrees north of east vector being added together. So step one, draw the vectors to scale using a ruler and a protractor. Step two, measure the magnitude and direction of the resultant. Don't forget to include the direction of the angle to reapply any scale factors you used. Find the resultant when you go 15 meters east and and, sorry, and eight meters, six degrees north of east. So you need a ruler and a protractor. In class, I have a bucket of each. Go grab one. I'll make this one. I make this one a little. No, sorry. So what do you make? Yes, I'll make it smaller. Now, 15 meters. I'm going to make that one centimeter is 15. Or sorry, one centimeter is one meter. So 15 centimeters is this long. Throw it out of the way. So. And then 8 meters, 6 degrees north of east. Now, we remember this, we go east, and then we swing north to make an angle of 60 degrees. Now, if I catch you drawing freehand like this, I'm going to scream and throw things at you. Because you have a ruler here, and a protractor. So what we do is we go, set it there. And, ooh! That was good. 60 degrees is right there. Alright, so what I need to do is draw another line. And there, up like that. That's 60 degrees. Ooh, that was close. Anyway, so I'll get the protractor out of the way. Now, of course, it does depend. Right. Now, to rotate the ruler. Uh, no. Oh, come on. Don't be, don't be that guy. My apologies. I was able to rotate this. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. There's a way to rotate this ruler. There we go. Oh, come on. You just let me rotate you. Oh, you poopy head. Of course, you're doing this in front of people. Now. All right, be like that. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I don't like the smart board. Here's a way to do, there we go. Now see, I wanted to say 60 degrees there. Nine, 60, there we go. Now I need that, okay. Now of course my protractor and my ruler are disagreeing with each other because, <sighs> anyway, I need this six centimeters. I wonder why I don't like computers. All right. Be a poop head. Six centimeters goes to there. I had six meters there. Now, you see instantly why I don't like computers. And it won't move back. Anyway. If I stretch that. No. Okay. So. And that is 60 degrees. Because that's what Mr. Protractor says. And I'm going to double. You poopy head, stop that. Yeah, Mr. Protractor says that's 60 degrees. Anyway, now, as I said here, draw out the vector, skip, 
uh, to scale, tip to tail, measure the magnitude and direction of the resultant. So the resultant is here. I'll make it here, from here to here. There's my resultant. Now, we measure that. Let's see if I can do this without losing my mind. There we go. So Mr. Calculator says that is 18.5. Now the, that says 16 degrees. But I'm going to double check that because the protractor and the ruler are disagreeing with each other. So if I go there and I bring it down. That is, yes, 16 degrees. So that's 18.5 meters. So the resultant I've got is 18.5 meters, 16 degrees. Now I go north of east. Yes, I, no, sorry, east of north. I go east. Then I swing north to make an angle of 16 degrees, and I suppose I should be putting that in brackets. Now that's how you do that with a ruler and protractor. Fairly accurate, okay? So far so good? Oh, I should label this uh, 15 meters and 8 meters, all right? That's what I got. Now think about it is that a reasonable answer from my drawing yes and that's why you should if you have the chance do a scale drawing now the second method I prefer is trig ratios you st first step one break each factor in its X and Y components add the X components together add the Y components together keep the X with the X and the Y with the Y you get an X total and a Y total and then step three redraw the diagram using the new X and Y components then find the new resultant so, not how the second method is really the same as the first. Okay. Now, find the resultant. You go 15 meters east and 8 meters, 60 degrees north of east. So, 15, 8, 60 degrees. Now, actually, I'm going to put the 8 on this side. Because, and I'm actually, let me draw that a little bit nicer. Because what I have is a right angle triangle, 8 and 60 degrees. I have a Y component and an X component. So, sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is hypotenuse sine of theta. Now, in this particular drawing, the opposite is the y side. That is 8 sine 60. That'll be 6.4, I think. 8 sine 60 is 6.92. About 6.93 meters. Now, cos of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse or adjacent is hypotenuse cos theta. Now, the, in this drawing, the adjacent is the x side. That's 8 cos 60. That should be 4.0, but let me double check. 8 cos 60 is 4, yes. So, this is 4, 60 degrees. This is 4 and 6.93. So, I redraw this. 15 plus 4 is 19, and 6.93. So, I have to find my resultant here. So that would be the length is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or 19 squared plus 6.93 squared equals my resultant squared. <sighs> Four hundred 
nine of the resultant. Twenty point two. Okay, that's not close to my eighteen point five. Okay. Anyway, and my angle. So I just double check my numbers. Inverse tan of Don't do any rounding off unless you calculate and do the work for you. Oh you poopy head. Inverse tan. Divided by 19. Tw oh, I did do it right. Never mind. Okay. So 20 degrees. Okay, you go east of north. Go east and swing north. Now, from my drawing, that's not unreasonable. I will point out that's quite a bit from my calculations here, but this one's a pain in the bum to do with the computers. It really is not easy to do. Double checking, that's... Oh, okay, that's moved. I have managed to change this, so I'm gonna go back 15. Problem with this daring computer. That's six. Really is not nice to use. Oh, well, now it's 19.5. That's 16 degrees. Well, no need to hate this. 19.5 meters versus <clears throat> 20.2. I prefer the 20.2 because I think it's a better number. Now, this video is getting far too long, but these are the two ways I want you to do it. So take a look at this, go back, double check your measurements. I'm willing to bet your measurements are different than mine. Anyway, one, check your measurements, check the calculations, come back, we'll talk about it because there's a third way to do this. Anyway. Any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, good luck. Good luck.